Hey guys, Heath here, Shepherd's Forge. Um, I'm still kind of working out the, the kinks of my laptop. Um, so far, the, the web camera, I mean, to me, it's not giving me as good of a picture as my cell phone. Uh, anyway, I wanted to do a, um, a sharpening video. Now, what I use is a Lansky um, sharpener. Uh, it comes with uh, diamond files, and then it also comes with ceramic rod. Just like that. Um, they come in pre-placed. Um, what do we got? 17 degrees... 20, what's that, 20 degrees, 25 degrees, and then if you have, um, serrations, it actually comes with a serration rod as well. Um, we're going to skip the, the diamond files. These are for, if you have a rougher edge ceramic files oh boy ceramic rods that's the way to go if you're working with kitchen knives um, you don't ever want to get your kitchen knives to the point where they have to be done on diamond you want to keep them keep them updated on ceramic rods so anyway the Lansky um, that's where your um, serration files go um, and I just learned like I just bought replacement ceramic rods and I think I do mine at, yeah, 20 degrees. Yeah, that's my typical. For, for kitchen knives, that's my typical. The reason I'm doing this video is to tell you that, um, where are my old ceramic rods? You can't really see it on camera. Uh, these things are really dark. I thought I needed to replace these. You can actually take a modern eraser and get all the steel out of the pores of these things. Or put them in a real hot bath of soapy water with a scrubby and get them out. Okay. But... Now we have backup. I didn't know this. But they're cheap enough. I mean, they're like 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, so we got some new ceramic rods. What I wanted to do when I got these new ceramic rods was really learn how to use them. So I YouTubed it. And basically, what you want to do with these things is start your knife at a 90 degree angle. These things are already angled the way that they need to be sharpened. Come straight down and don't come straight across. You need to start at the back and draw down. Start at the back of the blade, 90 degrees, and come down. Don't just draw it straight across. You need to keep it at a 90 and come down. And come down. And I can tell you, it's taken me a little bit to learn how to use this. But I can tell you that 
that's how you're going to keep a really honed, honed edge. Um, Davey Vader made me this beautiful carving knife. Okay. It's absolutely gorgeous. Got that friggin' wonderful hamon. Beautiful hamon. It was sharp when it got to me. But after I put it on the ceramics, Yeah, there's, there's just no challenging that. And he even told me, he's just like, yeah, I wasn't real sure. Ceramics. Okay, so this is the kitchen knife that I commissioned Dave McConnell to make for me. I've had this since early spring, early summer. And this thing was taking slivers off a tomato. Over time, it gets dull. Guess what? Ceramics? Ceramic rods. And the thickest blade. Well, I guess I, I wouldn't call it the thickest blade. The first kitchen knife I ever made myself, and this was a collaboration between myself and Davey Vader at Evader Knives. My Santoku, completely straight blade. Santoku. Okay. Um, I had... Dave from TNT Sharpeners, the guy that I use, sharpen this for me. Uh, Dave from Evader Knives put the bevels on here. I made the knife. This is a year, year and a half later. Guys, you, you just... I'm telling you, ceramic makes a difference. Okay, so those are all hand, handcrafted knives. Okay, all made by... Well, two of them made by serious professionals. One of them made by me. Uh, the next one is a store-bought um, cleaver. Stainless steel Damascus. But sharpened. On the same rods. I'm telling you, ceramic makes a huge difference. It really does. It just does. I mean, the first three are Evader knives, Dave McConnell's knives, my knife, and then store-bought. But they've all been, 
used over the last year or so, with the exception of Davy Vader's knife, which I just got. But when I got it, he even told me, he's just like, I'm not real happy with the sharpness on it. All I did was do a few strokes on these ceramic rods, and that thing was just shaving paper. So, there's that. Um, again, this is the Lansky knife sharpener. These things are amazing. You should invest in them. Um, they keep all my knives up to date. So, Heath here from Shepherd's Forge. Stay hungry. Stay sharp. Bye, guys.